Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 64. I just did a show with the Morgar last night and pretty much as soon as the show went out my wife had a load of questions about density regards the underneath of our earth and I was quick to explain that I had no answers. I think the deepest we've ever dug is something like 8 miles or 13 kilometres, something along those lines. Not very deep. Um, but I theorised along the lines of Morgyle's explanations that it's just denser because you've got more stuff below us. And she didn't understand so I lifted up my table leg and said well put your thumb under there and <laughs> see how much pressure there is when there's lots of weight on something. And while she got the principle it kind of highlighted the fact that there are um, explanations again in the heliocentric model that are really concise and explain how you know even to the degree that a planet has smashed into us and left us with a, a larger iron core and the debris become our moon. You know, we've got such detailed explanations for things that apparently happened millions of years ago um, that we can explain the, you know, the magnetic core that we've never seen or dug to. Um, but on the flat earth, we, we, we can only theorise. There's no true explanation for lava and that's kind of what she was asking. Um, so yeah, it's it's an interesting one, back to theory, um, but uh, I woke up this morning and after that discussion with my wife started watching Thomas Sheridan and thought, oh great, maybe he's off the subject of flat earth now. Unfortunately no, it's the third um, velocity of now he has done where he highlights, not for the whole show, um, he's sort of bashing Christians to a certain extent and his point is that he bashes Christians on his site and those posts aren't bullying because they're not meant for the people who may read them and then retaliate and it's hypocritical in the regards that he feels that by posting velocities of now that have you know strap lines like Anto and Deco decode Star Wars in order to shag a flat earth bird and then telling his audience that flat earthers literally want to slide inside him in a very repressed homosexual way again he's back to flat earth being a way of chopping the breasts off women and leaving them flat complete nonsense on the other hand he's later on in the show explaining that he's a very approachable guy and I still feel this is the case despite him fighting against Flat Earth. He has had people, um, I'm not saying I've confirmed this but according to what he says on the show, he's had Flat Earthers, one he describes as being like Morticia Adams, which sounds quite scary, I shouldn't really laugh, but Morticia Adams has been baiting him on his Facebook pages, presumably in reaction to what he's posting about flat earthers and it's preposterous he bundles us all in one category and feels it's not bullying because he's not directly attacking us on our pages um which frankly i'd welcome you know if i got a thomas comment a thomas sheridan comment on one of my videos i'd be over the moon <laughs> yeah, literally <laughs> so yeah uh, thomas sheridan again for the third time i don't want to attack you and i'm sure i'm not in I'm not the only person in this boat. Patricia Steer uh, got in touch with me and explained that she'd invited you onto her show, The Truth is Stranger Than Lies, which is not a flat earth show, although they both on that show, David Weiss and Patricia Steer, have very much got flat earth, you know, beliefs. But it's not a flat earth show and they kind of want to talk to you in the way you describe you being amiable. Now I hope <laughs> for the audience watching this, me talking directly to the lens at Thomas Sheridan and saying, look, you say you want to go to the pub and have a pint with people and are very approachable. Um, you know, do the same on YouTube. Extend that olive branch to us and let us chat. We're not going to attack you in the slightest. I have no doubt from my conversation with Patricia that she has no desire to attack you in any way, shape or form. Uh, quite the contrary. I'll leave this by playing out a little bit of Thomas Sheridan's remarks so that you don't necessarily have to tune into his whole show to get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, but yeah. You're a bully! You're a bully! That's not bullying. That's having a debate. Bullying is what these atheists do and what my stalk my neo Nazi and flat earth stalkers do. Boy, you just want you just dream about me giving you a big one up the ass, don't you? Don't you? When you're when you're stalking me, coming into my uh, my Facebook PMs to like uh, make an attack on me, you just you just dream about me fucking sliding into you, don't you? And that's what it's all about. You love me so much, you want me so much, you spend all your time thinking about me. The only distraction again is probably like sharing 
dead baby. I would like to talk to him on my show, though. The brains and guts hanging out, but you really want me. But that's what the atheists are kind of like as well, not the atheists, but these these sceptical debunkers. The real bullying is doing things like following these people, following a person that may be a Christian. Like, I, I slag off Christians constantly, but I only do it on my own wall, and I don't go around doing it on other people's pages, and I certainly don't go into other people's PM and call them morons for being... No, but you do do it on your actual site. <laughs> so while that might not be for us, we are watching it. And it's unfortunate that you're having essentially a one-way debate by calling us all morons. And I appreciate that the people you're directing this anger to are the idiots that will presumably go onto your Facebook forum, Thomas Sheridan I'm talking to now, and attack you with nonsense and memes or, I don't know, I've not studied your Facebook page, mate. Um, but, you know, those idiots do deserve a slap round the face if they're doing that to you, because they are idiots. But that's not all flat earthers. In fact, there's so much love in the flat earth community, it's unreal. And after talking to Morgal last night and him saying that literally he sleeps better and has lost heart palpitations as a result of finding out we're not spinning around at half a million miles an hour around a black hole we have no proof of, you do rest easier and people are a lot more at ease in the Flat Earth Society. We're not demons, we're not Morticia Adams and we're not worshipping dead babies. Some of the Flat Earthers are exposing heliocentric believers that they think do do that, but I don't think it's us, and we're not radical Christians, we're just normal people too. We'll have a pint with you as happily as you will have a pint with the next man. Um, please don't exclude us because we're Flat Earthers. Please engage in some conversation with us. I hope this Thomas Sheridan appeal goes out to more than just Thomas Sheridan, and if you do watch this, Please, please, please come on Flat Earth UK uh, and have a logical debate about it. I will not direct any anger towards you. I've been Nathan Oakley. I'll see hopefully Thomas Sheridan <laughs> and all of you in the next video.